Iowa to get going a little bit. Gave them some life at different times throughout. Eight offensive rebounds as well. Those two are the numbers when you look at it. And you knew it, but it's very glaring when you get a chance to look at the box score. Olivia Campbell goes to work right away with the left hand. And gives the Titans a four-point lead. Because when you talk about it in the locker room, what Coach Fisher is talking about, hey, listen, take care of the basketball and make sure we limit them to one shot. You fix those two things, you walk away with a win. Catch and shoot three, nearly in. Offensive board, count it! And a foul. Leah Borath doing work on the inside. To start the first quarter out, UW Oshkosh got out to a great start. To start this third quarter out, UW Oshkosh off to a good start. That's what you need if you're looking for upsets. Blitz here to start the second half, and I believe we have a lane violation That's on UW Raiders. That's so another second one. of the game. So Porath gets another crack, and she can't come through. She left that one short. Six-point lead for the Titans. Quick 4 nothing run out of the gates here to start the second half. Taylor lobbed it. Arneson took it away. Nice job defensively. Trying to get it into Grundahl. Campbell. Left side. Leo Porat. Driving baseline. Cut off. Double team comes. Arneson. Three is no good, but an offensive board tracked down by Emily Miller and a reach in on Veronica Kiris. And you look at the energy of both benches, you look at the energy of the players. Right now, the energy and the effort, all the 50-50 plays, all the hustle plays, go to UW Oshkosh. That's that magical Jamba Juice of coach speak in the locker room, right? Right, he might have got some Jamba Juice. <laughs> Always curious. Wanted to be a fly on the wall for some of those halftime speeches. I'm sure you've had your fair share of interesting ones. And a loose ball foul as Grundell <coughs> trying to clear through a screen. Runs into Miller. That'll be the third team foul here already in the second half for Whitewater. <coughs> Titans by six. Early on, second half. Porath. Ten on the shot clock, right side. Campbell's got to go. She does to the baseline, and an offensive foul on the baseline. And we head the other way. Don't know if I saw that one. Well, I think it probably was a good call. It's a situation where it's just a little bit of an arm shelf there, PJ, and, and because of that, it, it, and especially you look at the way it's been called here, it's been called a little bit tighter doesn't surprise me that's where, the, that's where they went with it. Raider catch and shoot from the right elbow, no good. Raider's been relatively quiet. Tonight. There's another offense. Three is way off the mark off the right side from Grandal. Campbell, in up, free tag. A backdoor cut on the baseline, gets it to go. That's a great example of what free tag has done, just energy and effort a lot of the time. 33-27. Inside, Carson Reed takes it away for the Titans. Apologize for the technical difficulties there as we get you caught up, 33-27. Titans on top of Whitewater, right side. Carson Reith, three is good, but an illegal screen. And we head the other way. Coach Fisher looking for an explanation. And that's a big one as... That's on Campbell, exactly. That's gonna be her third as well. Higgins will enter and replace Campbell immediately. 
third team foul on the Titans here in the third quarter. 6.23 left. Oshkosh will be in the bonus the rest of the way. New rules with quarters in college. Get to that five foul mark and you shoot two free throws. Schumacher, step back. That's a tough one. And clears by Reed. No, if you ask guys, you got to continue to put pressure on the rim with yourself being in the bonus. Take advantage of it. Higgins. Harassed by Schumacher. Inside. Great cut from Arneson. And good delivery right on the money. Two great cuts. Brooke Friche cut first. And then Artisan followed that same cut. Really great action by UW Oshkosh. Both players put pressure on the rib with their cuts. Turnover on the other end. Titans here could open this up to double digits. 35-27. Inside, knocked away from behind. Tough pass from the top. Coach Fisher wanted a foul. Santo Domingo. And a travel will go the other way as Domingo, Santo Domingo. Yeah, and it was, you know, Brooke Free taking it there to chest up. But what she did is she got back. She made her, you know, uh, Santo Domingo stop. And she walled up and forced the travel. 